Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Randall George Nozal with the Bounce Back Blind Guy and Ambassador of Personal Development. <laughs> hey, welcome to Transforming Adversity into Opportunity. And in this segment, we're going to continue on with my brand new program, Five Alive. Today we're concentrating on mental and emotional. Okay. Uh, last week we talked about uh, the value of nutritional wellness, but today we're going to talk about mental wellness and emotional wellness and how they go together. Okay, mental wellness is uh, an interesting topic because it's about your thoughts, not only what you think about, but what you focus on and how you interpret the, those thoughts. Okay. So, here it is. Depending on the kind of state that you're in, or what your belief systems are, and all that. Uh, how you think is based on your interpretation of yourself and how you fit into the outer world. So, you know, sometimes these uh, thoughts go fast, sometimes not. Sometimes you focus on uh, the wrong thoughts. Okay? And you, you've heard of uh, labels like uh, depression, uh, bipolar, attention deficit, uh, schizophrenia or uh, schizoid-like uh, behavior or uh, w whatever label there is what those are it are just behaviors they're symptoms of how you thought of how you think but also of uh, how your body works of how your gut microbiome uh, all those trillions and trillions of microorganisms in your body that uh, have their own thought patterns that uh, convey those messages to your brain and also to your heart so it is a full body neurologic type of sequence okay. so, so, so that's the mental aspect of that the wellness comes from you focusing on the thoughts that you want to focus on and the whole idea there is to uh, concentrate on thoughts that are beneficial to you, beneficial to others, and beneficial to the environment. Okay, so good thoughts lead to good deeds, okay. and uh, you know that there's a joy to that, and it's also hormonal as well as uh, uh, the good neurotransmitters like serotonin and uh, dopamine being secreted. So your mental state, what you think about, what you focus on creates your, your path in life and how you view the world. Okay. Now, he, emotions, what are emotions? Emotions are feelings. Uh, you know, they arise from uh, attached memories. Okay. And, and, and here's the thing, let, let, let's review that. Uh, memories and feelings uh, actually go together because on, on the, the side of your, your head, uh, right uh, in uh, the temples there is a organ, uh, thumbnail sized organ called the hippocampus and that creates memories and it, it, uh, sh working and short term memories as, uh, as well as neurogenesis, neurogenesis which means uh, that organ uh, makes new brain cells, that's right maybe about 700 uh, you know, brain cells a day so yes you, you do make more brain cells Okay. Long-term memory is still something that uh, is being studied because that we, we find might be held in the myofascia or in the periphery. Okay. So uh, long-term memories are stored in your body and, and often in uh, tissues that are on the periphery, uh, you know, in joints, uh, in different parts of your body. Okay, so, so anyway, that, that, that's where the long-term memory goes. Okay, wrapped around this hippocampus is uh, what's called the amygdala. And that, that's high emotion and a, a stress center. So, so the, these are kind of guards at the gate. That they're they're uh, looking over the environment to see... Uh, they're, they're guards to, 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 to see what might be a threat to you. But also with high emotion. So th they go together. So uh, memories as well as emotions are tied because you know well, once you remember uh, you know something an incident a uh, long time ago or even last week and all that that's associated with an emotion and uh, your heart rate will pick up or you'll get depressed or you'll get angry or make you happy but but they go together so the thing with emotions 
uh, is that you can control those totally controllable so the thing is well when you have a thought okay, is to uh, depending what you want to do with that thought is that you can suppress the emotion you know, to it be neutral okay because uh, when, when you think about angry or hate jealousy envy you know all, all the bad stuff all the negative emotions when those come first you end to you end up focusing on it and that shuts down the, the frontal part of your brain the prefrontal cortex so you can no longer think really clearly so now the emotion takes over and you're not thinking well and you're, you're involved uh, get you get lost in the negative emotion so you get pissed you get angry uh, you, you know you, you can't think you're beside yourself so the best way to control those emotions is to uh, consider the thought what it was be neutral about it and to just to revisit that thought of what the action was what the event was what happened back then 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 you can uh, clearly look at it and decide hmm okay maybe I didn't have to act in that way or maybe I misinterpreted it or perhaps wow you know if I uh, just left the emotion aside I can think more clearly so the wellness part for both the mental and emotional uh, you know areas of, of where you're at is under your control now, now uh, for thoughts that they come and go and what you can do is tell yourself I want to focus on these thoughts or I want to think more of these thoughts and you will okay the, the thoughts are coming uh, at a uh, you know horrific pace the, the fast 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 but it depends on what you focus on and once again that that stimulates uh, acetylcholine in your brain uh, you know from if, if you want to know the nucleus basalis nuclei there's two of them and you get more of that and you intensify that thought you intensify that focus you intensify the interest so that's where the interest comes from or focus comes from the more you focus on it it increases interest and now that uh, you'll get more thoughts like that and, and you know from there you'll, you'll pursue that with that comes the emotional attachment because now uh, whether it's uh, you know baseball or dance or you you want to learn about uh, you know history or the uh, you know what makes for uh, a pine tree as opposed to a coconut tree you know stuff like that whatever your interest is is that 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 stimulates growth that stimulates the increased interest which is more attention okay so uh, as far as wellness goes when you combine your mental state your memories also and your emotional state you can control your life because what happens is now is that you're training your body your neurologic body okay to, to feel certain things and it's activated and this can uh, jack you up or uh, you know make you relaxed get you excited get you motivated or make you relaxed so here's the deal for all of you out there and you know I'm hoping uh, that you uh, enroll in, in uh, the Thrive Alive program but we're gonna go over all of this with you because it's all individual and we were all taught to think and feel in different ways uh, in, in your earlier years when you're growing up and watching your parents watching your guardians watching TV well you know what's on the media you know uh, de be dealing with your friends you're learning 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 and you adopt certain ways of being and certain ways of thinking certain ways of feeling okay. and that can all be modified if you want and this will put you in more control of your life so uh, come uh, chat with me and find out more about Thrive Alive uh, email me at mirabelle.nozawa at gmail.com m-i-r-a-b-e-l-l-e dot nozawa n-o-z-a-w-a at gmail.com and well, let's uh, initiate you let's get you going let's get you started to where you want to go because you're you're here watching this uh, video and you're here where you're at now but what you're thinking of is where you want to get to I can help you do that I'm Dr. Randall George Nozawa if you like this hey please like it and also visit uh, my YouTube show new enlightened lifestyle medicine and, and peek in there with my uh, co-host Patrick Herbert because we go over a lot of health related things but also uh, social, social social things 
okay and uh, how that can all benefit your life benefit your health and benefit all those around you take care have a wonderful day